Where did all the movie icons go? Movies used to be filled with bigger than life characters doing amazing things on screen. Stories like Back to the Future, Rocky, and even Pirates of the Caribbean gave us movie stars that fit their characters so well that their role became more than part of a film. It became part of culture. These actors became icons. They were action figures. They were on shirts and lunch boxes. It felt like these icons were a part of us. And this week we lost one of the greatest icons in movie history. We lost Darth Vader. Prolific actor and incredible voice James Earl Jones passed away this week. And even though there are real people who are actually grieving a real person in their life, a loved one passing away, I can't help but feel a little bit sad just as a movie fan. James Earl Jones meant so much to movie watchers and especially us scruffy nerf herders. His voice brought Darth Vader to life. Commander, tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. I want them alive. It made Vader powerful capable and intelligent. Honestly, no one could have done it better. His performance was the epitome of being iconic. And this loss has me thinking, where are the new movie icons? Where are the movie stars so known for one role that when they pass, we all grieve because we felt like we knew them and they had a special place in our own stories and lives? Like when I say movie icon, what character pops up in your head? Is it someone like Michael Keaton's Batman or Arnold's Terminator? Now, if I were to ask you what's a recent movie icon that pops up in your head, is that anybody? Who is that? Like maybe it's Robert Downey Jr.? I am Iron Man. I think he fits the bill. He definitely gives a great performance and he's very memorable in that role, but he might be the last one. Because a movie icon is so much more than the main actor or actress in a hit movie. It's gotta be a role that makes you think no one else could have played this character. And that character becomes something that all culture resonates with and recognizes. Does that sound like any movie made today? Maybe these younger actors just haven't found that role yet. There are definitely some that have the chops for it. Glenn Powell excites and charms audiences every time he's on screen, but will Hollywood make a role for him that will fit the bill of icon? I don't see Hollywood really focusing on iconic characters anymore. Forgive me if I sound Clint Eastwood get off my lawn kind of old for a sec, but these characters today in big blockbusters are generally pretty shallow and don't seem that heroic or even villainous. Oh, fella. What do you have for breakfast? Only two roles really jump out to me over the last few years that I think have any real potential of becoming iconic over time. The first is Margot Robbie's Barbie. Her performance was nuanced and funny. The movie itself did incredibly well and definitely made an impact on pop culture. But when people think about Barbie, I don't know if they're gonna think about Margot Robbie. I think they're probably going to think of Ryan Gosling ranting about patriarchy and horses. Why didn't Barbie tell me about patriarchy? Which, to my understanding, is where men and horses run everything. And while Gosling is hilarious, I think Ken is a role that a lot of other actors could have done. But time will tell whether Margot will be tied to her incredible performance. The second potential icon, I think, is Timothy Chalamet's Paul Atreides in Dune Parts 1 and 2. The story is definitely epic enough, and Chalamet's performance, especially in part two, was astonishing. What holds me back from saying that this role is iconic is just the fact that a lot of people don't like it. It's silence! I don't think general audiences love these movies as much as movie lovers love this movie. I know it's subjective, but I personally know a lot of folks who paid to see Dune and came away thinking it was dragged out and boring. I think those people are dead wrong, but it is what it is. It's what it is. What it is. It's what it is. I do hope Hollywood gets their act together and starts making characters and blockbusters a little deeper a little bit more epic and find capable actors to fill those roles so perfectly that they become icons. It's definitely best for the movie industry and it's best for us as movie watchers too because then we can connect to those franchises and when all of us connect to those franchises, we connect to each other. That's what we did with Star Wars with James Earl Jones voicing one of the most iconic villains of all time. So thanks for all the memories, James. You're an icon forever. We'll miss you.